And John, what an overwhelming situation for crews as they got to the scene there. It really was, Lee. For the people of Fairport Harbor and those crews, it was a day that started with a rude awakening, and the rest of the day, well, it didn't get any easier. Inside Painesville's Harvey High School, they sit and wait. These Fairport Harbor residents, people like the Borners who fled their home this morning with three of their cats. Laura was doing laundry when it happened. I heard a, a whoosh. The heater, the, our heater furnace caught fire. I turned around, it was on fire. I turned the gas off. I used a, a rug that was drying to put out the rest of the fire. Fortunately, Laura was in the room, and fortunately, the Borners just had work done on their house. Luckily, our house, all the appliance and gas lines are were put in last year, and all the shutoff valves were in the basement. Before evacuating their homes, residents were asked to first shut off the gas to their homes. Do you have an idea where even where to go to do that? Or? Yeah, I did. I, I have a gas heater that's in the house, and I it, it was on. I could smell a little gas, so I just turned it off. If you don't know how to shut off your gas, plumber Kevin Edgel says you're not alone. No, because, you know, you move into a house or you live in a house, you really don't know how to turn gas off and on. They usually call a professional to do that, and that's what we usually do. If you should ever have to, though, Kevin says this is what you're looking for. The gas valve shutoffs right here where you have to turn the gas off to where this hole here lines up with this hole. So you put your pipe wrench on and you turn that up straight to where the holes line up. And that'll turn your gas line off going into your building or your house. Now, Kevin was saying if your gas is turned off, you do need a professional to come out and turn it back on. He has a crew of eight, and they work with them, and they were waiting for the call this afternoon to begin the process of helping them go door to door and determine the extent of the damage before any gas is turned back on to any of those homes. Reporting live in Fairport Harbor, John Kasich, News Channel 5. John, there have been some very big stories in the last year involving gas explosions. There was, of course, the Southeast Cleveland explosion last May on Federal Drive. And then in September, the San Bruno, California explosion, which leveled a neighborhood. But this situation seems like it's a little different. It, it is different, and in the San Bruno case, it was a question of uh, there was pressure in the line that caused some damage that may have caused the cracks. But, uh, you know, Kevin was telling me the four ounces of pressure is what is coming in on that line into your home. And there was talk earlier today from some of the officials that it may have been the pressure in the pounds. And if that was the case, Kevin's saying it is absolutely unimaginable. And even if your home didn't catch fire, your furnace didn't catch fire, the damage that it may have done to the regulators of your furnace or your water heater uh, may be... It's something that definitely needs to be checked out, and there could be uh, more damage down the road.